In today's video, if you have a few old phones that you're not using, you know, they might, like me, be tucked away in that junk drawer. I have about 30 crammed in there. You know, you might want to turn them on and start making some cryptocurrency. So if that interests you, wait, wait, wait. And most of this runs pretty passive, so just keep that in mind. So if you're into that, well, stay tuned to the video. I'm your host, Tech Hustler. I just want to shove it up my nose and have that smell all day. That's amazing. Shove it anywhere you like. Oakley Doakley, welcome to another video. If you already don't know, you know, if it's your first time here, I make videos where I review websites and applications and uh, even some stuff for your TV that can make you a little bit of income on the side, whether it be, you know, in PayPal cash or gift cards, your Walmart, I, I'm an Amazon guy myself, or cryptocurrencies like we're going to talk about today, then you might want to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And as always, you know, try and throw me that thumbs up too, if you can, you know, one will do. So in today's video, let's look at me face a little bit. You know, my OG subscribers, this is how my channel started. You know, I was into phones before YouTube, repairing them, selling them, you know, flipping phones. And then I acquired a lot of phones and I was into Bitcoin as well. So um, I started to mine, they had minor applications, uh, mine, I think Monero back in the day and didn't really make a lot. And you know, that's how I found, uh, well actually make a long story short, I started mining the Bitcoin on these guys, which I don't use anymore because it's not efficient. So I had all these old phones and um, well, I found phone farming and there wasn't a lot of information on YouTube. So I started making my own videos about phone farming uh, as well, you know, but um, yeah, it all started from Bitcoin and I'm still a believer in Bitcoin. I still own some Bitcoin. I don't own any other cryptocurrencies right now, but um, I don't recommend buying any Bitcoin. I bought it when it was very, very, very cheap and I had a little, little bit of extra money and then I started mining. Um, but you know, if, if you don't know Bitcoin at, at one time, if you haven't, haven't been up to date, it was almost $20,000 in, um, what going into 2018. And that was around the time, you know, Bitcoin halves every four years and you get a spike from what I see, you know, I mean, right here, I think this was a halvening and it went from like a hundred to 900. Then four more years later, went up to 20 grand and we're almost on that four year mark. Again, I believe it halves in May, May or June. So when I say have, the amount of Bitcoin that produce is cut in half. So it's harder to mine and it should potentially go up in value. I'm hoping it goes to 20 grand again. But you know, the thing with cryptocurrencies it could go to a million dollars or it can go to zero dollars. That's why if you haven't gotten in already, I don't recommend buying any, but you can use your old phones. You know, I don't even recommend mining right now because um, it's just so inefficient. You know, you, you might have missed the wave to make some big money, but you can use your old phones to make you some cryptocurrency. And if you really get into it, you know, there's multiple cryptocurrencies you can earn. I would always just, whatever I earn from this, try and turn it into Bitcoin, like through Coinbase or another uh, Bitcoin wallet. But there's so many optional coins that you can use your phones to earn. And it's really not through mining anymore. And you never know, a coin could go to the moon. You know, I've seen Bitcoin go up like $600 at the halftime uh, at the Super Bowl, you know, I guess people were drawing out or uh, not drawing out, but uh, putting in money on bets in Bitcoin. So anyways, that's just how it works. So it's sort of like an investment in your future with any cryptocurrency to me. I, I, I think of it as like a uh, 40 years out, you know, I think Bitcoin probably will be worth a million dollars in 40 years or it could be worth zero dollars tomorrow. And that's sort of something you can think about with 
all of these cryptocurrencies. You know, of course, some aren't going to work out, but some might. And that's the cool thing about it. And all you do is run a handful of phones, maybe a couple computers. But anywho, to dive in today's video and real quick, if you want to support the channel and you want to get into Bitcoin, uh, I'll have a link in the description below and you can hit up my Coinbase, get you a Coinbase and they'll give you $10 in Bitcoin just for signing up. As well as the Cash App, you can buy um, Bitcoin and stocks on the Cash App and I'll throw a little video up here real quick. <laughs> So anywho, you can buy cryptocurrency stocks on the Cash App, and if you use my link, you'll get $5. So right there, that's $15 in Bitcoin you can have already spread out. So that's sort of cool. I don't see why, why more people don't do it. But um, anywho, to dive in, we're going to talk about my homeboy. I've talked about him before. If you haven't checked out the Pi video, check it out. It's got a lot of views, so obviously something was done right. But um, hard for hard 10. And someone asked him, what the hell does that mean? But anyway, he's the OG. He's the one always reviewing these applications, viewing these, you know, there is a couple miners. And, you know, we're going to talk about this video right here today. But there is no reason why he shouldn't have a thousand subscribers for real. And, um, you know, if you're into this type of stuff as well, you know, I, I'm, my channels, it is going to go a little bit towards Bitcoin as we see what's going to happen for the happening. But um, here's a couple other YouTubers you, you should check out that are doing these type of uh, applications. One is my man. Well, of course, hard for hard 10. Uh, my man, Sean Willard over here at Passive Online Incomes. He's not only doing these cryptocurrency apps. He's still phone farming. He's got a lot of phones. He's got a handful of computers and he's really doing this every day. And he puts out a, a lot of content and I'm not going to lie, you know, because uh, Social Blade will tell you he's making more subscribers every day than me. So he's doing something right. Go check him out. I think he already has a couple thousand subscribers. So he's doing real good. And of course, as always, um, He'll always be soda free to me, but um, give my man a subscribe right here. My man soda free. You know, he, he is also uh, reviews applications and websites that pay and he's getting into this cryptocurrency stuff as well. And I believe if you need a video in the Detroit area, he'll shoot that for you, too. So I think I've gone over. I'm sorry. I'm trying to look between my ring light right here. So I'm not going to talk too much more. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. You know, leave some comments, ask some questions uh, in the comments down below. Check out my man Hard for Hard 10 and he's got a community as well. So, you know, if you have any questions, ask it in the comments. But first, give them a subscribe. So this is the video we're going to check out. Phone farming is not dead, it's just evolving. Oakley Doakley, my name's Tech Hustler. Happy earnings, guys. Peace. What's up, everybody? It's Hard for Hard 10, and it's uh, gonna be it's Wednesday. Making these short videos about phone farming, I guess you could say, or crypto farming, however you wanna look at it, just to show you that phone farming or crypto farming. Again, whatever you want to call it, it is not dead. So if you have phones, there's things to do with them. I'm running right now five different options. There's more. Um, just that uh, <laughs> batteries are dying right now. Got to order some more. Some more coming in later today. But just to let you know, like right now, five phones running passively right now. I got the popular one that's been out for a while that uh, people been talking about. Random Satoshi running. And this is on an uh, old uh, Alcatel 6.0. 
Uh, I have JSE, mining JSE coin, right here passively. And that's uh, on an old uh, ZTE 5.0. I got Dutchie's faucet. Dutchie has many faucets. Uh, six that I know can run on a phone. Um, this is just one of six right now running. Uh, this one is actually called Final Auto Claim. And right now we're claiming like, looks like five different coins. Let's see. Over here we got uh, Hideout TV running. And then we got Fire Faucet over here. And this is all mainly crypto. Like JSE is a crypto coin. It doesn't take any of your resources. It's JavaScript enabled. That's what JSE stands for. And it uh, runs passively on your phone 24-7. Uh, this one's been running for days. Again, Random Satoshi will run for days as long as you got the auto claims. So you got to put a little work into getting the auto claims, uh, doing offer walls like surveys, uh, all kind, whatever you know, offer wall stuff. Uh, same thing with uh, Dutchie's Fossil. You get the auto claims. You got that going good. Runs passively. You know Hideout TV how that works. It runs great. What I do with the Hideout TV points now is. I actually uh, turn them in daily for uh, for random Satoshi bits. That way I don't have to do any more offer walls. 800 points here, you know, hideout points, usually get you about 60 to 70,000 bits over here on random Satoshi. Um, JSE, same thing. Uh, random Satoshi accepts JSE. Uh, but since I've been getting so much from hideout TV, i kind of been stocking my JSE coins for now. I decide what else to do with them. I can exchange them in for other stuff. Uh, but JSC coins, they are not worth that much. But they're worth something. And it's just sitting on an old 5.0 ZTE phone doing nothing but just earning. You see the graph moving there? That's going right there. And it looks like, let's see, that's the hashes that we've earned today. So, you know, JSC is an easy, simple uh, thing. JSC coin, I'll have the links down below. I have links down below for all these uh, things that I'm running on my phones. But if you have any questions about these apps running on the phones, uh, a lot of them are, uh, well, a couple of them are, uh, what do you call that? Browser. You got to use your browser on the phone. And some, the two, for instance, Random Satoshi and Fire Faucet are actually running off of an app in the Google Play Store. So um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave comments. I'll answer all questions. Um, but I'll leave links for all these. Uh, Websites and applications down below. Again, phone farming or crypto farming, not that dead. Talk to you all later. This is Hard4Hard10 representing the Crypto Nuts. We'll see you all later.